Portals actually exist? Ever since Portals released in 2009, everyone has wanted to get their hands on a gun to make travel between two distances instantaneous. But scientifically, what would it take? Well, to start off, the closest possible comparison we have is wormholes. While mathematically they're similar to black holes, unlike black holes, we're not actually 100% sure they exist. But we do know how they would theoretically work. For those of you that don't understand wormholes, basically, uh, hold on. Imagine Riggy needs to get from the bottom of the graph paper to the top. And he doesn't want to walk because he's lazy. Hmm. Well, let's do this. If we poke a hole in point A and point B, a wormhole basically takes the graph paper and folds it on top of itself. So, how do we do this in real life? Short answer, we don't! Mostly because it would violate all the laws of the universe and basically manipulate enough matter and mass to destroy our planet each time we place the portal. So yeah, unfortunately, not only is the cake alive, but the portals are alive too. Now you won't have to wonder. Is the moon floating away? You may have heard this rumor growing up or spread around the internet, and I'm here to tell you, yeah, it's actually true. Let me explain. You know! Uh, yeah? How about I turn on the new 3D mode that we've been working on? Sure, why not? Whoa, it even gave me a spacesuit. All right, well, we all know the moon spins around the Earth, but if we look at it from the top, we can see that the Earth spins way faster, leaving the moon to play catch up. What this does is effectively change the moon's trajectory and is widened over time, pushing it further and further away from the Earth. So does this mean that soon the moon will disappear? No home for the rabbits to get to and nothing for crew to steal? Yeah, no. The moon is only floating a little bit away from Earth each year, to the point where it'll take billions of years to leave Earth. In fact, we'll be dead long before that happens, and the sun will be a red giant. The moon is only floating a little over an inch and a half away a year, so less than Reggie's hand and I. Well, yeah, but remember when we went to Paris? I was like two feet tall. Oh, yeah. Wait, you can size change? There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Like what? Whoa, you can still teleport? You can just do that now? <laughs> Whatever. Now you know. Shorts Wars 2 was almost cancelled? If you don't know what the Shorts Wars is, basically it was a collab between me and a couple other Shorts creators where we made a big overarching storyline. There was puzzles and epic anime fights, and hey, Matt Pat made a video on it. But yesterday, we almost cancelled Season 2, all because of one game, Mario Party. Basically, it was me, Johnny, Bun Dunn, and Failure live yesterday, and we were at each other's throats the whole time. Johnny beat us all by far. Apparently, he's just a Mario Party king, I guess. But Failure and I were neck and neck at the bottom, and I would have lost if Bun Dunn didn't have a vendetta against Failure for absolutely no reason other than to be entertaining. Seriously, every chance he got, he dragged him down. Even going as far as to throw mini games just because he was on failure's team. So long story short, we almost tore apart our group, but of course, at the end, we remained friends because video games aren't everything. Also, failure is just a really, really good guy and didn't let losing get to it. So everybody, comment respect for failure. Hey, speaking of live streaming, I'm going live for the first time ever today. Link in the pinned comment. But that's how. Yes, which one's anime? Which one's corn? I think I watched this one. My god, Joe. I feel like the one on the right got like a character arc going on. Like they've got details and they've got a personality and they're like, you know, villain. The one on the left just looks submissive. <laughs> the one on the left looks a lot more steamy and the character on the right looks like it has more character development. It's the one on the left. <laughs> You're correct. Which one is the which one is the anime? Yeah, I think the one on the right has a little more detail. The one on the left looks like she's getting ready to take off her shirt. Oh my god. The one on the left looks like the kind of lower quality animation style and because of that i'm gonna have to go with that option honestly both of them have great assets but i'm just gonna be different from you guys i'm gonna go for the right one it's the right one oh, what <laughs> riggy is being cloned again no not by clone riggy thankfully he's dead <laughs> but riggy's plushies are being cloned and stolen they're being sold all over the internet and while they're cheaper they look cheaply made too look if you want to buy one of these instead i won't stop you I know not everyone can afford makeshifts, but also know that I can't guarantee the quality on these ripoffs. And also know that none of the money will be going to Riggy or I. We're in the process of trying to get these taken down, but for now, if you want to support the real one, make sure to check it out in the makeshift website. Link in bio, or just Google Riggy Plush. And hey, only five days left, so if you want to get one, make sure to get it now. Phew, I got scared when you mentioned Clone Riggy. You were right. Good thing he's dead. Definitely. <laughs> hey, by the way, we haven't caught up in a while. You want to get a coffee after work? Hmm, are you buying? Seriously? <sighs> yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Hold on, I just gotta grab my jacket. Hey, <laughs> think I'm dead and still here. I've been waiting. It's not ready yet, but they'll see. You'll see. <laughs>
Twiggy's biggest secret? Obviously, he's got tons of secrets. You guys have been asking a lot of questions recently. So let's ask him the most requested ones. Number one, why do you commit so many crimes? Number two, why don't you wear your hoodies anymore? And by extension, number three, why don't you wear a shirt at all? Hmm. Aw, uh, what's wrong? Can't answer any questions? <laughs> Come on, you've got to answer at least some questions. Do it for the lore. All right, all right. How about these? Who is lucky? Is he bad? How'd he get famous? Hmm, what about this beaver guy? Were you two friends or something? What was his name? Billy? Come on, give us something. That's it? Huh? Riggy! I am so done with you destroying everything! Wait a minute. Did you see... No, that couldn't have been... Whatever. Well, guess what? Today, I've got another one! Okay, yep, I'm out. Is a creature in my walls? As of recording this, there's a scraping noise around my room, and I can't tell if it's either in my walls or in my vents or if I'm just going crazy. So let's go through the list of potential threats I have. Google says that it's usually one of four options. Mice, bats, rats, and squirrels. Squirrels and bats make the loudest noises with constant banging, rattling, and echoes. Rats are known to scurry fast and swift, making a constant ruckus. But the sound in my walls is slow and random, which leaves the mouse, right? Yeah, maybe not. Because I have literally never seen a mouse in my house after living in it for 19 years. The animals I have seen over the years? Rabbits, possums, frogs, coyotes, and most recently, I've been seeing spiders everywhere. Where? Thankfully, the banging is too big to be a spider, and while I would prefer a frog, I think I would be okay with a rabbit. As long as a giant possum or somehow a coyote doesn't jump through my vent, I'll be fine. You know what doesn't help, though? The fact that I had a dream a couple nights ago where Riggy appeared and said I would die on Friday. I'm not kidding. So, subscribe to stay updated on if the thing in my vent kills me or not. But I'm freaked out because... Oh, we back. Yo, Gravekeep, where's the nearest Starbucks? You were just a skeleton. Yeah, and what of it? You were bones. <coughs> Your point? Are you a ghoul? Not a ghoul, just a guy. But you were bones! Yeah, I was dead, but then I respawned. You respawned? Yeah, so, uh, Starbies, where at? Bestie. You respawned, and that's your first thought? Yeah, bro, I gotta write my screenplay. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I came up with the idea in heaven, and God liked it so much that he said, just run it back, baby. So, God himself greenlit your screenplay. It's gotta be something crazy, right? Oh, of course. So you know Pikachu. Uh-huh. What if we combine him with Sonic the Hedgehog? All of the lights. Am I gonna die today? I've seen so many of you guys genuinely concerned that I'm gonna die today. Even my own girlfriend is worried. I mean, to be fair, I did say Riggy came to me in a dream and told me I was gonna die Friday today. But it was just a dream! Some of my dreams have giant man-eating octopi. They don't usually make sense. And I know I made a short recently talking about what if I died. And also I made a short a couple days ago about the thing in my walls, which I still haven't found. But I'm fine! Plus, I can't die before I live stream Mario Wonder tomorrow, or I see the FNAF movie next week, which I've waited nine years for. But for those of you genuinely worried about me, no. I'm Fine. For now. What? Nothing. You can't kill me. You'd be out of a job. No, -uh. I could run the channel if I tried. Oh, really? Listen to them, Picker. I'm so sick of it every day for the past couple of months just listening to the paper boy and the rabbit monkey free boss and I have something planned. And next month we finally launch it. We're so close. These dummies won't know what hit them. Really quick. Wait, Dano, did you hear something? Besides your annoying voice? No. That's it. Freaky, stop. No. The Clown Army Uprising? In honor of Halloween 2023, let's take a trip back to one of the scariest Halloweens in history, 2016. Where an army of creepy clowns began taking over the world. Seriously. Where did they come from? What did they want? And most importantly, who started it? Well, we have no idea. Although most people speculate it started out simply as a student promoting a short film, it definitely grew far beyond him very quickly. With tons of people dressing up as clowns and threatening people all over the country for seemingly no reason overnight. Stores stopped selling clown outfits, they were outright banned in many places, and the Funniest part? There was actually more violent acts committed towards the clowns instead of by them, with scared people forming mobs and hunting them down. Again, I'm being serious. But by the time Christmas rolled around, the clowns seemingly disappeared, never to be seen again. <laughs> You're so gullible. New costume. How do you like it? I hate it. Whoa, except for that duplication effect. How'd you pull that off? Huh? What effect? Just now, with the... Ugh, never mind. But that was... Real life infinite money glitches? Have you ever had the dream of finding a glitch in the system, an exploit in real life, some way to make infinite money? Well, there's actually been a couple cases of people discovering ways in recent history. First up, coin clipping was a big practice a long time ago, where the edges of coins were clipped to give you a bunch of shavings, before combining them and having a whole nother coin. Remember, this is a long time ago where a quarter was worth a lot more. Eventually, banks ended up putting ridges on coins to stop them. Another money glitch was discovered by 29-year-old Australian Dan Saunders, who figured out a bank glitch with withdrawing more money than his account actually had. In total, Saunders withdrew $1.6 million and used it to have big parties, pay for friends' college tuition, etc. Although in the end, he felt immense guilt and turned himself in. His punishment for stealing $1.6 million a year in jail. He was charged for 111 counts of fraud and only got one year. And he was asked to repay only a small part of the stolen money. Crazy. But those are... 
Does talking to yourself make you crazy? 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 Statistically. 96% of adults talk to themselves in their minds, and another 24% of people talk to themselves out loud. While both are a pretty normal behavior, the science behind it is definitely interesting. Most of us actually begin self-talking as toddlers, which is apparently really important to help us distinguish speech patterns and form our first sentences. As you get older, you stop speaking to yourself out loud because it becomes a force of habit to keep it internal. Not just because if we talk to ourselves out loud in public, we get odd glances of people thinking we're insane. However, interestingly, the type of self-talk you have does have a genuine impact on your brain and life. Studies show that constant negative self-talk, such as putting yourself down during challenges in life can genuinely make you a less productive person or make you outright depressed, whereas positive self-talk and reinforcement can help you. So in other words, if you tell yourself you're a failure, chances of you being one are high. But if you believe in yourself, sometimes it actually works. So yeah, not only does talking to yourself not make you crazy, if done the right way, it can actually make you a better person. Moral is, love yourself. End of story. But now you know.